students now we are going to discuss about the lateral shift by using a glass lab this is the glass lab for this experiment we need a glass lab a chart paper some pins cardboard pencil protractor and a scale we take a piece of paper and uh, put two pins on paper now place the glass lab at the center of the chart paper with the help of a pencil or a pen we will draw the border of the glass lab like this now remove the glass lab we observe a rectangular shape which is the shape of glass lab and name the vertices as a b c and d now put a point e at that point draw the perpendicular line to the longer side ab with the help of a scale like this now we will draw a incident ray which makes an angle 60 with the normal so this is the 60 degrees with the normal which i draw a line which represents the incident ray and the angle between incident ray and normal is considered as angle of incidence here angle of incidence is 60 degrees okay now place the rectangular glass lab as it is on the paper now take two pins and put it them on the incident ray that we draw okay those are the two pins now observing the two pins from the glass lab we have to put two other pins which seems to be the four pins are in the same line when we see through the glass lab clearly you observe the video the pins which are either side of the glass lab are in the same line okay these are the two pins which i put if you observe the video the four pins which are either side of the glass lab are in the same line now remove the glass lab and also remove the pins and the points which we remove the pins add the points with a line that they meet cd at f a point manam f anukundam okay now draw a perpendicular line or normal to the cd at f f dagara manam cd ki malloka normal draw cheyal anamata chudandi ok sari video lo okay now the angle made by the emerging ray with the normal is if you measure it it is 60 degrees again okay so this is called as angle of emergence angle e which is 60 degrees that means the angle made by the emerging ray with the normal is 60 now 
join the e and f that ef represents the refracted ray so now we measure the angle of refraction that means which the refracted ray made with normal that is here 36 degrees that is called as angle of refraction that is 60 degrees here so this is also angle of refraction that is also 36 degrees here the light ray ab refracted at the glass slab and bends towards the normal which comes from air to glass after that it refracted from glass to air now you produce the incident ray the distance between the emerging ray and the incident ray is called lateral shift so here if you produce the incident ray that ray and the emerging ray are parallel to each other and the distance between these two parallel rays is called as lateral shift here the lateral shift is 3.1 cm in this way we have to find the lateral shift of the glass slab okay